Hello, today we are going to end up creating a bare metal uh, instance over at Vulture for the purposes of setting up Proxmox. So go ahead and deploy a new instance, select bare metal, select Los Angeles for the location, select Debian, Debian 11 is good, and then select any server size. I will say that it works best if you select a server that has SSD drives. So there's these two, and then there's a 700 plan. Uh, it, it depends on the availability. You can check different locations, but I I don't I don't think that this would work on uh, just strictly NVMe drives unless you do a, a roundabout method I came up with, which involves installing um, VMware essentially to boot the ISO and and then like have this as a physical drive and, and install it that way. So. That, that's that's one way that I found as a workaround to make NVMe drives bootable. But anyway, no no RAID is good here. And then, yeah, let's, let's do the disks formatted mounted. We're going to enable IPv6. And here I have had failed attempts at automating this 100% all the way. It's just, uh, it's just not working. But let's go ahead and just call the server prox and deploy from there. We are going to w get this and bash execute it, so that should uh, that should be coming up pretty shortly. Now open up a a putty session here to your server. So we're going to copy the IP address to the server. We're going to paste in that IP address. Hit enter to connect. Click yes to verify that cert or that key fingerprint. And now we are going to copy that password. Type in root, R-O-O-T, right-click, enter. We're now logged in to the server. And we're going to copy this, this .sh file location. We're going to wget. And we're going to paste that there just ls to make sure we we have it yes bash pro, pro tab for auto completion enter it should just download 1.zip and 2.zip that is just the iso file for the proxmox install split into two pieces for for cloudflare caching and we should see just momentarily it should finish up here and as soon as it finishes, it will automatically add the, the two separated files back together after unzipping. They're inflated one, it's inflating the second, and then it is putting the two files back together. And we can see that it was able to copy the I copied the um, ISO. Now we're going to view the console. Now you are going to view the console for the server. And this is going to allow us to enter the, the boot selection menu. In order to do that, I, I believe it's going to be F11 as soon as we get to that screen. Right there, F11 to invoke boot menu. Go ahead and just start start tapping F11 and at the bottom left it says invoking boot menu there so we know that it's, it's taken our command it, you could stop but I just kind of keep hitting it extra for just for fun and then there is a UEFI OS you can now toggle down to using the down arrow key and then smash enter So from here we can use the arrow keys to go up and down, hit enter, and as we're going through, it will it will go ahead and kind of just like initiate that actual installation, and you'll be able to use the tab keys to select different buttons. You can tap spacebar to kind of drop stuff down or select stuff. So you'll you'll see what that looks like in just a second. I'm not going to go 
all the way through the whole thing. You can figure it out yourself from here. But I just I just really wanted to mainly showcase that I, as soon as as soon as we get into that installer, you have the ability to hit the tab key. You can hold shift and tap tab to go backwards. So like I just kind of passed it, right? So now you can see that the outside of that box is slightly, or the, I guess more so the inside of the, the border is slightly highlighted. So you'll see here, I'll tab off it. That's gone. I'll hold shift tab to go backwards, um, back to it. So there it is. You just hit the space bar or the enter key and it will let you uh, continue on. So ho hopefully this was helpful and if you find any use in this, uh, please leave me a like and subscribe. Definitely leave me a comment letting me know you like this content for more. And uh, of course the link to it is gonna be down, down in the description. So if you need the link to that SH file to automate uh, the, the vast majority of, of kind of like the, the manual aspect of it, uh, that, that's down there. So thank you, have a great day.